All right, guys, welcome back to J Force Gaming, and you might be wondering what is inside here right now. But before that, all right, I would like you guys to know that I, I've actually reviewed you know any crow products before in the past, all right, especially their Pico starter kit, all right, where you guys have a lot of sensors to play with, all right, for you know people to do like projects and DIYs. This is another addition to it, all right, and this is a seven inch all right touch screen TFT um, LCD display. All right, that you guys can do a lot of things on it. So you can uh, turn it into like a UI, this and that. It's really, really cool, All right, which I'm going to show you shortly. But I'm just going to show you how this thing looks like. All right, so uh, upon receiving this thing, all right, um, I also forgot to mention the exact model of this. All right, what I have here is the ESP32, all right, 7-inch display, the Advanced Series. All right, so the Advanced Series does come with a lot more features, all right, including some AI features as well, which I'm going to talk about later on. Alright, but uh, yeah, you do get the display itself, a USB-A to USB-C cable to power up the device. And last but not least, alright, some um, cables, alright, that for me personally, I have no idea how to use this. But, you know, it can be used for certain projects that you want to connect to, like um, other, you know, other things and other sensors, buttons, and that. You guys can certainly use that as well, so they include all this inside here. And now let's take a look at the display itself. So this is the whole display itself and let me peel off the back all right and um yeah so this is the whole display so you guys can see all right it's a seven inch display so it is pretty big all right let's see my hand compared to it all right and at the back here we do have a lot of ports all right for you to connect to any other external devices and you can make it the one whole complete thing all right, you can like add in like you know your microphone, your keyboards, your button, sound sensor, lights, basically anything you want to connect it to. All right, and this thing also does support like Arduino as well. So you are like making a project or you're making like I don't know what you can make. Technically, you can make with this is pretty much unlimited. All right, it's just up to your own creativity. And as well as the side, we do have a USB C cable to power this thing up. All right, and um yeah, this comes this advanced series for my one. All right, it does come with the whole enclosed case itself, you guys can see, all right. Um, some other one doesn't come with the back case, all right. So the, the PCB is exposed. But my person, um, for this one, I think because the Advanced Series as well, it has a back case. Well, it looks nicer as well. It's better protected, all right. And you can use this on a more vigorous conditions. All right, you guys you can see in front here, there's a tape around it. So you can basically mount it on something that, you know, that has a mount over here and, you know, for a user to touch this and that. So it's really, really cool. All right, so there's a front adhesive that you can mount it directly in front of something else. All right. And at the back here, we do have a wireless module that you guys can, um, uh, on, on here, this one, this thing right over here, right? So you guys can... Uh, switch to different wireless module you want, like a Wi-Fi module, a Bluetooth module, <laughs> God knows what other modules that you guys can use. There's a few different modules that you guys can uh, put into this, so you can switch different modules for different project needs. Probably your project needs like a wireless connectivity. You guys can just put in a Wi-Fi module and you know, you're good to go. Alright, so it's really, really cool. Alright, a lot of, and below here there is a, a card for you to put your SD card, so you can put like some bootable media. I don't know if you guys can see from here, can you just see, see? Yep, alright. Over here because the whole thing is dark, very hard to see. But yeah, there's an SD card here, so you can put your micro SD card um, to run certain things or certain slide shows, this and that. You can do that as well. Alright, they do have a reset and boot button right over here. Alright, I hope my cameras can you guys can see. I don't think so, it's too dark for the camera to pick it up. But but uh you just do know there's a boot and a reset thing. So if you mess up anything on this, you can either reset it or boot it into like a boot loader and you guys can like uh, inject other like um UI all this into that. So it's really really cool. And there's a lot of different outputs all over here that you guys can connect to at the bottom there is also a few and they label it on how you guys can connect it and what pin goes to what pin do what what are the different voltages so i mean for those of you guys getting this you probably know what you're doing but for me right honestly i not really know how that does this actually works but the only thing i know is this thing you guys can use it for ai controls as well all right um like um they say that's the other series that's ai viewing so basically you guys can like use it to like or attach a microphone and you know um, make your own like chatbot so it's like maybe like an information counter and people can speak to it and you reply to it those, those sort of things you guys can do that on this as well all right and other things that you guys can do probably like you know an informative touch 
display i would say like probably like you know you guys can uh, adjust like probably your temperature control over here and you guys can like you know touch um adjust like the lighting all this like you know you can diy your own like uh, smart home uh controls panel over here yeah you guys can do that as well all right and you guys can use a square line studio to design your own ui and i think this one does come preloaded with a ui i can i think i can show you guys all right my power bank right over here I just have to power this thing out, so I just need to connect my cable to here and uh, does it powers up? Uh, yeah, you guys can see it powers up, really cool Alright, and what is this? Oh, yes, yeah, talk about this and Yeah, so um, this is like an example of it, you guys can see Alright, you guys can see over here Alright, I do have like some UI stuff that you guys can also scroll, it's, it's a touch panel so uh, yeah, you guys can make something like, like this with it and I think there's a top, you can like check the analytics of here, you can scroll as well, you guys can see different analytics Really cool, alright, so you guys can use this uh, like a monitoring device as well, you guys can see all this Alright, you guys can create your own UI, it's very cool and The panel is really good as well, it's really sharp You guys can see Alright, and it's viewable on any angles as well, look at this, alright at this angle, it can also be, be seen. So yeah, it is really, really good. Uh, it almost can be seen at any angle. So you don't have to worry about, you know, cannot see other angle. All uh, right, most angle can be seen, which is really, really good. All uh, right, and the color is quite vibrant as well. And yeah, the touch is quite good as well. Not very, very like super instant response that kind, but you know, good enough for your like projects and shots. You guys can do it like controls, this and that. All uh, right, and you have shops over here. You guys can see, you know, the shops. As you can see, it's really a touch screen, like a cool little tablet. So you guys can make your own UI and certain buttons, all right? So you can use the Square Line Studio to make your UI. And then after that, you guys can use like, you know, certain buttons, click, open something else, dim the light, this and that. You guys can always do that on that. It's really cool, all right? As, uh, yeah, so this is like a cute little example over here that what you guys can do with this thing. And yeah, it's really actually quite well built on the steel, right? And it's... Honestly, not very heavy at all. So it's quite light. The pro the processor inside here is a dual core processor. I think it's the ESP thirty two processor inside here. So the dual core processor. So you know it's pretty responsive in anything you want to do with it. So I think it's really really cool. Alright, seven inch display. Alright, from Alicro, and they do have a lot of other displays display sizes as well. As for I'm recording this video right now, right? I think seven inch is the biggest. They do have like two inch, three point five inch. And also, if you are looking for a smaller display size, they do have as well. Alright, I don't know if they will do a bigger one or not, I'm so sure. But I think, looking at the website, I think the 7 inch one is the biggest of now. So, but I think this size is pretty, pretty good enough, right? Anyone can see and it's really sharp and can be viewed at any angles. And you guys can like, you know, uh, uh, check this thing, okay? You can see, it's really cool. So you can design your own little UI for your project or any project you are working on. For me, what I'm going to use on for this for, right, most likely I'll be using it, right, to do like, you know, a, you know a for Singapore, if you guys don't know, uh, Singapore, we have this um, API that we guys can connect it and see when the bus will arrive, all right, at certain, at all the bus stops around Singapore. So this is a really, really useful feature. So every time when I want to take a bus to somewhere else, all right, and for it, let's say I take the bus number 55, all right, to somewhere else, and, you know, instead of like going down and wait for the bus, all right, maybe you will be here in 15 minutes, 20 minutes, so instead of wasting my time waiting at the bus stop, I can see how soon the bus will arrive. So, you know, I will start probably going down my house, probably going out. Or I'll leave my house probably when the bus is arriving in three minutes or two minutes. So, you know, it can save me some time. I can spend more time at home, which is a really, really useful feature. as long as I look on my app itself. But with this display, I can integrate it into this display and maybe stick it right in front of my door. So every time I want to leave the house, I can just do a quick check at, oh, okay, my bus is coming in three minutes. So I just like, oh, okay, it's time to go. Or if I see, oh, 20 minutes, okay, I'll stay at home and wait for probably another like 18 minutes. All right, so yeah, it's a really, really useful thing that you guys can do on any DIY you want to do on it. All right, you can, it's pretty much unlimited. They have a lot of ports for you. A lot of connectivity options and you guys can basically create any UI you want all right, for any of your projects that you're currently working on. So it's a really, really cool device right here and it can just be powered with just a power bank. So if you connect this to an external battery pack, all right, if you like a wireless module, this and that, all right, you guys can just get a simple battery pack and get it powered up. And it's 
it's really really simple to you know do anything to it so it's really really cool so if you guys want to check out this all right esp32 advanced all right series all right you guys can check out the first link in the video screen down below and get this for yourself right here this exact model that i'm holding right here they do come with a lot of different models i also link them you know the general other models so you guys can also go and take a look at other models that probably suits your needs as well but overall i am really really impressed by how good this thing is and for the price it's really really affordable and you know it's all touch screen you guys can do so many things and the display is really really clear as well all right overall very very well built and give you a lot of connectivity options for all kinds of projects you're working on so if you are looking for a display that can you know can do everything for your project all right basically uh, all in one display for any kind of project you guys can check out this esp32 all right seven inch advanced series touch touch display all right it's a long name right you guys can check out the first link in the video screen down below and you know and check out this as that model i'm holding right here or a general link that you guys can see other models they have so once again all right this is jforce gaming and i hope you guys like today's video and you guys want more one more video like this you guys can let me know in the comment section as well and without further ado this is jforce gaming and i shall see you guys in my next video peace out i don't want to cry